Namaste fam, Wolfgore here, and today I have for you what I believe to be the best early game farming spot in Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. So, what you're going to want to do is head to the Arata Estate, go to the bonfire right before Lady uh, the Butterfly Boss, and what you're going to want to do is work your way backwards, starting with that archer that we just killed at the back of the room, and you're going to want to sneak up here and take out this first shield guy. Then you're going to take out this Katana Torch guy with just some R1 auto attacks. Make sure you have your axe equipped for this run. You can easily go take out the next shield guy just like that. Move over to the left, take out the archer, and then you're just going to have two Katana guys left. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. In this first pack, there are four packs that we're dealing with in this run. This first pack is going to have nine enemies uh, with a total of 217 gold between them. Uh, that was seven enemies right there. We've got two more katana guys in this little structure to the right. So let's go ahead and take them out real quick. 23 gold apiece. Not bad. It adds up pretty quickly. Now, what I like about this run is that it has the best mob density that I was able to find anywhere in the early game. And you can do this run before you fight any bosses. All you have to do is go grab that bell um, at the start of the game and come over to the Harada State and clear up to the first boss. Now in this pack, you're going to want to go take out this axe guy first, as opposed to that bow guy that we're killing right now. Because uh, the axe guys are going to be the toughest thing in here. Uh, they're not particularly tough, but kill the axe guy, turn around, kill the bow guy. This guy is going to alert the others, but that's okay. Just go ahead and take out the remaining katana guy and archer. And the reason it's okay that he alerts is that there's actually two more guys in that building over there. And when he yells, it's going to tell them to come out, which is something that we want because we don't want to have to go in there to kill them. So you got another axe, the katana guy. Sometimes they get stuck on this ledge right here, but that's okay. It actually makes them easier to kill, generally speaking. And then there's one more archer at the back of this room. So run up and just sneak attack him for the kill. This pack has eight mobs in it for a total of 194 gold. And then we're going to just run back around here to that well, uh, which is how you get into this particular area in the first place. Hop down the well. You're going to take a little damage, but that's fine. Uh, I got a little confused here. I was like, oh, where's the entrance? But <laughs> uh, sneak right there. You're going to want to sneak right there and take out this guy. You don't want to aggro all those guys right around the corner. You want to kill that guy first. And then you're going to want to take them out one by one as they come in. On this particular run that I'm showing, I wasn't able to do that. Usually I'm able to take these guys out one by one as they walk into the cave. But you can see that even when you mess up and they get all clumped together and come at you at one time, it's not the end of the world. Just try and take out one, get your immunity frames, pop back out to the entrance, and start picking them off as they come in. Typically, you're not going to get attacked by more than one guy unless you're standing in the middle of a gangbang. Uh, take out the axe guy. There's one more shield guy for a total of three. Hit him with your axe. Boom. Easy. Uh, there are seven mobs in this pack, the third pack, including this here archer, for a total of 171 gold take him out and then there's actually a bonus little pack in the back over here hidden in the bamboo there are two spear wielding monks that are pretty easy to take out with the makiri counter uh, but if you're not you don't have the makiri counter yet or you're not good with it you can actually wait for this monk in the white here put, to patrol back down the steps that we're fighting on right now and you can get a free easy assassination on him now, you will notice that I actually got a light coin purse from him. So these monks here have pretty good drops. You can get a light coin purse, which is a 100 gold bonus right there. They only give you 48 apiece, which is the highest of all the things that we've been killing. Uh, so 48 apiece, two of them, that's 96 gold right there. But you get an extra 100 gold from that coin purse, and those are going to drop on occasion. Sometimes you'll get two if you want to run this for a while. So the entire run takes about four minutes on average sometimes it goes sloppy sometimes it doesn't um, that's going to give you about 10.5 thousand per hour and yeah that's not including the uh the light coin purse and you're going to need gold like this in the early game to buy stuff like the dragon mask and uh prayer beads and stuff like that from this vendor i farmed this run for about 30 minutes and made about 5,000 gold and i was able to buy my dragon mask no problem you're going to get about three quarters of a bar of experience uh, per run. But yeah, that's about it. It's a good spot to farm. You don't have to do any bosses. So 
I would highly recommend that you guys check this out if you're really struggling with Lady Butterfly like I was. And uh, yeah, this should give you the bonus that you need to get all the things and stuff that you need to succeed. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you all for watching. Like and subscribe and do all that YouTube shit. Love your faces. See you next time. Bye-bye.